Hello and welcome back to the bad games. Today we're here in Ashes Town versus Ponytown because we have ourselves some interesting contestants here. Starting on the left, we have Clarissa Seven. In the middle, we have Bad Games Dragon Chick, and on the far right, we have Leon. Uh, these three contestants will compete in up to five challenges. Best three out of five wins, and the winner will ultimately take the prize of a banana for its potassium or a twenty cap prize. Uh, so. Uh, with that said, how are you guys feeling? How, how are you guys feeling about these challenges coming on? Some of you are, are like a little bit more familiar with the bad games, of course. All these challenges are going to be entirely different than anything we've seen so far in the series because we are uh, in bat in uh, Ashes Town, so we have a new wheel for that. It's completely black for some reason. There we go, it loaded. Uh, all right, let's go ahead and spin the wheel and see what the first game's going to be. We're going to go straight into the chaos and see what we get. Do, 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 do. Okay, looks like it's going to be... Sacrifice? Sacrifice! Alright, Sacrifice. Yes, each player must stand in the same location near the zombie spawn. Whoever is the last alive is the winner. <laughs> so just, just come on down here to the bottom left. Try not to take any damage on your way down there, of course, because if you take damage, you're going to be at a disadvantage, of course. Alright. Obviously, you guys... <laughs> <laughs> That's not good over there. That's not good. I'm just gonna pretend that didn't happen. Alright, I need you all to like stand in this general area somewhere. You have a couple of people here that are fighting. You you, you can't stay over there, Clarissa. You got well, you I get you. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, no here, I'll give you I'll give you like a uh a pear. Here, eat this and it'll give you it'll give you some of your health back. Consume Wow, that definitely did a lot, didn't it? <laughs> it's a sacrifice anyway. Look, it, it'll be fine. I'll, I'll, you'll, you'll have your health back probably before they even spawn. It'll, it'll be fine. Um, but yeah, that's, that's basically it, right? You just stay here. Whoever's the last one alive is gonna be the winner. I'm gonna kind of get back a little bit further though, because I don't want them to mess with me. I think Dragon Chick is gonna go down first. One of you, you, two of you are really low on health right now. You have some other, like, random players kind of helping somewhat because they're fighting them off a little bit. Interesting that, like, you guys are still alive here. Okay. You guys survived an entire wave. This might not be as as easy to die at as I thought, especially with, like, obviously these other players here. Look, chaos is great and all, but... Oh, lordy! Oh, lordy! Here comes a whole new wave of them! All right, if you get... Oh, I'm getting... I've got reconnected there. If any... If... If... If they kill all the zombies, we'll just take whoever has the most health and we'll, and we'll, we'll give that them the win there because it's, um... I don't want to sit here for a super long time just watching you guys get Ooh, eaten by I'm NPCs. Here, oh, yeah! Oh, wait! No, Dragon Chick! Dragon Chick survived, but only for a few seconds. <laughs> all right. All right. That actually felt a lot closer uh, there. At the, like, the second wave of NPCs came and the other dudes that were fighting them just kind of stopped fighting them for a little bit. That was so funny. <laughs> you was robbed. <laughs> we'll give you half a point. Will that make you feel better? Yes. <laughs> Alright, Dragon Chick, that's one win for you. Uh, two more and you win this game. Spin the wheel. See what it is. Okay. We got drug dealer. That's right, you guys are going to become drug dealers. Uh, first off, do any of you guys have drugs in your inventory? Any of you. You don't have drugs on you. Okay. Uh, do either of you have drugs on you at all? Dragon Chick, did you, did you still have your drugs from earlier? Yeah? Okay, can you can you give them to me temporarily, and then I'll give them back to you after the challenge? Okay. Thank you. I'll give the, I'll, I will give this right back to you, I promise. Oh, shit, you had, you had multiple. <laughs> Jeez, man. <laughs> Why do you have so many drugs? <laughs> Jeez, okay. They are the drug dealer. Wow. Okay. Was that all of them? All right. Here's here's how this this here's how this challenge works. Super simple. You guys are gonna race back to the main island and find some drugs and bring it back to me. The first person to bring drugs back to me is the winner. I don't even know what. Uh, on your mark, you get set, go. I guess. Go, go, go. Some of you are probably gonna do this a lot better than others because you guys are more familiar with the game. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. I guess. <laughs> this this plays way way better, I promise. Oh, here we go. We got someone coming back. Leon, 
I'm just gonna go ahead and reject it so you can keep it. But thank you, good job. Leon wins this one. The rest of you can come on back to the party island and Dragon Chick, I'll give you your drugs back. <laughs> Uh, Leon wins this challenge, so we got one win for Leon, one win for Dragon Chick. Clarissa7, unless you win this next round, you are eliminated from the, uh, the bad games uh, for this episode anyway. So you are currently SOS in right now. Editing is locked. You, you, have edit <laughs> you have editing locked. I couldn't move the SOS under there. And then we will uh, spin the wheel again, potentially uh, two more times, potentially three more times. Hard to say. Um, but... Let's spin the wheel and see what this next game is going to be. Ooh, interesting, interesting. Okay. All right, we got Hobo Simulator. That's right, Hobo Simulator. This one is also kind of fun. Super simple. It might be kind of, <laughs> it might be kind of hard um, because obviously we're not, I haven't done any of these yet before. This is our first time doing any of these. But basically how it works is you guys are going to try and convince a stranger to give you at least one single cap. You have to basically... You're panhandling here. You gotta, you gotta beg for some money from strangers, basically. Uh, and the first person to get a cap from a stranger is the winner. Um, so I guess the best way to do this is for you guys to show me how much caps you have. That way we can double check that you guys didn't just find one off like... Or like lie about it or something, right? Perfect. All right. Let's go to the island now and see if you guys can't convince a stranger to give you a cap. Um, you guys can split up as much as you want to. <laughs> Hello, I'm really poor and I need to buy so need something to buy food. <laughs> that was a very quick no and now they're running from you. <laughs> oh shoot. Where did where did the rest of you go? Oh yeah, you guys can say something in party chat if you get if you found one by the way. I got one. I got 11. You got 11 now? Yeah. I, oh, shit, they gave you 11? Wait, hang on, did Leon get one? Because they said in party chat, got five. Okay, so this part of the episode got really confusing and a little bit messy because everyone was super far apart and two people got caps at roughly the same time. Uh, we messed around a bit, looked at chat logs and stuff, and ultimately decided that Clarissa7 got 10 caps before Leon got their five caps. Um, after the episode was finished and done, we reviewed the footage a second time and discovered that Clarissa7 actually got the caps before Leon. Um, unfortunately, we didn't know that going into the rest of the episode, so we gave this win to Clarissa7 instead of Leon, but Leon technically won this challenge. Um, I don't know, I didn't know what to do because everything had already been done. I didn't want to just go and redo, you know, parts of the episode, obviously, so it got really messy here, but that's what we decided to do and we went with that so so sorry for that leon uh clarissa seven and uh, uh dragon chick and all of you at home but this is just another case where the bad games went a little bit too bad and we probably should have planned this out or thought about this a little bit better uh but yeah wow that was definitely close that was definitely close uh leon's got one win dragon chick's got one win clarissa seven's got one win you can win. you can lose now <laughs> People had people had no. I saw that dragon chick. You you begged for it, and they're like no, and they ran away from you. <laughs> Saying I'm new and poor always works. <laughs> that was a good strategy. Okay. I was brand new. I was like, I can prove it. Literally, I have zero play time. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Let's spin the wheel. And see what this next game is gonna be. Hmm. You know, we could do sudden death too. The person I was asking for. Oh, a sticky situation. Okay. Asked. Sticky situation, that was one I added last minute. Sticky situation is super, super simple. Very similar to the caps. You are going to all go to the main island. You guys are going to get a stick, and you're going to have to convince a stranger to take that stick from you. Whoever can convince a stranger to keep the stick is the winner. Let's go. Let's get, let's get a stranger to take one of these sticks from you. You can't just toss it on them, and then they take it from their inventory. They have to, like, obviously accept it or whatever. Oh, I already have an idea of, like, how some of you might be able to do this. Le Leon and Clarissa Seven. I already have an idea for both of you. I don't have one for Dragon Chick, unfortunately, because they didn't they didn't get help last time. <laughs> Obviously, yeah, you want to say something in party chat again, if you if if you convince someone. I'm giving somebody a stick. Oh wait. Sorry. Did you just? just Zakora took Zakora just took theirs. Zakora just took Zakora just took um Leon's stick. Oh, I gave a stick too. Yeah, the, uh, uh Leon got it first. Are you sure? Yes. 
I, what I was going to say, though, was the idea that I had for you two was to literally go to the guy that gave you the caps and be like, you gave me caps, here's a stick for helping me out or something. Uh, nah, man. I just, I, I That's yelled, what I would have done. I yelled, free stick! Anybody want a stick? And they're like, yes, please! Give me a stick! <laughs> wow, okay. I'm serious, two people did, so I had to choose. <laughs> okay. Um, here's how I'm going to do this. Uh, Leon has two wins now. I'm going to exclude them from this next challenge, and you two are going to challenge each other, and whoever wins this is going to go against Leon in the final challenge. That's how we're going to do it. Um, so, Dragon Chick, Clarissa7, um, you two, uh, one final match for both of you, or maybe just one of you. Who knows? We'll find out. Uh, woo, wacky. So let's let's remove Sticky Situation, spin the wheel, um, and see what this next game is going to be. We got war! We got war! I'm loving these challenge names. <laughs> I, I, that's that's a big part of the fun is to is to name them different things. Okay, this one is this one's gonna be fun because it's very similar to rock paper scissors. So what I what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put like a cabinet or something over here so you guys can hide behind it. All right, what I want each of you to do is Clarissa, I want you to go behind one bookshelf and I want uh, Dragon Shake to come behind behind this other one. Um and I want you to equip one of the items from my inventory, and then once both of you are ready, just say ready in chat and it'll, it'll come up above you or whatever. And then I'm going to remove the bookshelves. Whoever has the better item oh, or better that's weapon that's is going to be the winner. It's, not a, it's, not a, it's fine. It's similar to rock, paper, scissors. Uh, how it works is, let me find it again. Uh, melee beats ranged, ranged beats item, item beats melee. That's how it, that's how it works. So again, just tell me when you, whenever you guys are ready, and we'll and we'll uh, reveal the bookshelves or uh, uncover them or whatever, and see who's got the better item. Ready? Boom! Boom! <laughs> okay, sense. melee beats ranged. Is that what I said? I don't know. Yes, melee beats ranged. So Clarissa Seven, you take this victory here. You get to stab the loser there. You get to kill Dragon Chick with your knife. <laughs> You done brought a, a, a gun to a knife fight. <laughs> Alright, so... Um, that means... It is now between um, Clarissa7 and uh, Leon there. Perfect. And we're going into the final uh, round here. The final the final challenge. What are you guys thinking? What, how are you guys feeling about this right now? Because you got a final challenge here. I am the underdog. Not sure, but this is fun. I'm glad you're having fun. You need to get a drink. <laughs> well, depending on the next game, we might we might drink. Who knows? Let's remove war from the wheel so we don't get it a second of time and spin the wheel the one final time. I think we've technically done six challenges now, but it's fine. It's whatever. It's fine. Okay, this one is fun. This one is chicken mine. Chicken mine. You guys know how to play chicken. You go and you like you have to get as close to danger as possible. Whoever chickens out first loses. It is basically that, but with mines. <laughs> so we're all going to go towards uh, to a mine. I guess the best one to go to is probably whatever's closest. And then whoever can get closest to it without dying is going to be the winner. Um, I'm going to be the one to set off the mine. So don't set off the mine once we get there. Just get really close to it. As close as you feel like you can get to it without dying. Yes, without dying. <laughs> if you die, then then you got too close to it and, and you lost because you died. <laughs> So let's go to the main island here. Okay, this is the mine that I'm going to trigger, the one that we're next to. So get as close to it as you feel like you can get to it without dying. I'm going to trigger it, and I'm going to jump jump back. It's going to go off. Oh my god! <laughs> Dang! I think Leon was closer because they took more damage. Holy cow, that went off quicker than I thought it would, too. Holy shit. I'm pretty sure Leon was closer in that i'm pretty sure because they, oh, they have where are you though yeah, i don't know we could we could, re we can redo it if you guys if you guys are okay with that we do like two out of three on this or something i, I thought they lost i could two. I thought they lost it did it looked like they did it looked like they had less health i could just review the futures too unless you guys want to redo it we can do it either way I guess it's more up to Leon since since I, I consider them to be the winner of that. Do you want to redo it or do you want to just have me review the footage and risk your win either way? 
Oh shit, they're setting on the mine again. Oh shit! Oh, <laughs> I, I win! <laughs> no, you do not. That does not count. <laughs> yeah, they were def they were definitely closer to it too. You can see that it says minus 97, and, and for Clarissa it says minus 94. Damien took 71 damage. <laughs> not, sure, not sure what Damien was, was doing there. It's trying to take the bullet for you guys, I guess. So yeah, Leon was definitely closer to it. It looks like they were closer to it, and they also took more damage. So I'm going to give that to uh, Leon. You'd love to do it again? We can do it again. Yeah, you can definitely, you can definitely participate again. Um, I have the waiting list roll that I ping for um, for people that like want to participate in future episodes of this or just whatever else. Uh, but yeah, you chose caps. So let me uh, do transfer caps. And I will do plus 10, minus 1, plus 10, 20. There you go. 20 caps transferred over to you, Leon. Um, obviously, yeah, accept it. There you go. 20 caps for you. Um, and the two losers, you did Valiant in this game. Uh, Clarissa 7 sneaking in from nowhere and getting that second place position. Uh, Dragon Chick almost winning that one uh, twice in a row, two challenges in a row. But happened to run into a guy that just was very much not willing to give charity. <laughs> Um, but yeah, good job. Um, I don't, I don't have much else to say. Good job, everyone. Uh, yeah. Any last thing any of you want to say? Do I eat this? I mean, I don't think you can. I don't think you can eat the, the meat on the stick thing. I don't think you can eat that. Oh, you can, but it hurt you. <laughs> I didn't know that. Good sportsmanship. He poisoned me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's good sportsmanship. He poisoned you. <laughs> amazing all right uh i hope you guys had fun i hope you guys watching at home had fun as well uh if you did i'd very much appreciate you guys liking the video subscribing to the channel or sharing the video around or doing any number of those wonderful things like that because when you do wonderful things like that not only to get access to wonderful content such as this but you also get to become wonderful yourself and i think we all want that so do those wonderful things and until next time stay wonderful